Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at Control Blood Glucose, Insulin and Glucagon. The pancreas monitors and controls the concentration of glucose in the blood. Glucose is a small soluble molecule that is carried in blood plasma. So blood glucose is normally maintained at a concentration of around 90 mg per centimetre cubed of blood. So, blood glucose concentration can increase as a result of diet. So, if you're eating rich carbohydrate foods that, or sweet foods, carbohydrates will be broken down into small sugars, which will then be absorbed into the bloodstream. Glycogenesis. So glucagon stored in the liver and muscle cells can be broken down into glucose, which is released into the bloodstream, increasing the blood glucose concentration. And gluconogenesis, so the production of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, for example, the liver can make glucose from glycerol, from lipids and amino acids. So, decrease in blood glucose concentration can be uh, caused by respiration. So, some of the glucose in the blood can be used by cells to release energy via respiration. So, this particularly happens when you have lots of muscles contracting. Glyconogenesis, so the production of glycogen. So, when blood glucose concentration is too high, excess glycogen glucose is taken in through the uh, the walls of the liver and is stored as glycogen. Insulin is the hormone that lowers the level of glucose in the blood. It's made by beta cells in the pancreas and released into the blood when glucose levels go up after eating. So when insulin binds to a glycoprotein receptor, it causes a change in the tertiary structure of that glucose transport protein channel. This causes the channel to open, allowing more glucose to enter the cell. Insulin also activates enzymes within some cells to convert the glucose into glycogen. So increasing the rate of absorption of glucose by the cells is caused by insulin. It increases the respiration rate of cells so this increases their need for glucose and causes a higher uptake rate. It increases the rate of glycogenesis, so insulin stimulates the liver to remove glucose from the blood and turning the glucose into glycogen and storing it. It increases the rate of glucose and fat to fat conversion and it also inhibits the release of glucagon from the alpha cells of the islets of Langerhand. Glucagon is a hormone that raises the level of glucose. The pancreas produces glucagon and releases it when the body needs more sugar in the blood to be delivered to the cells. So the blood glucose concentration is too low. The alpha cells take this fall in the blood glucose concentration and respond by secreting glucagon directly into the bloodstream. Unlike insulin, the only cells in the body which have glucagon receptors are the liver cells and the fat cells. Therefore, these are the only cells that can respond to glucagon. So glucagon raises blood glucose concentration by glyconogenesis. So the liver breaks down the glycogen store into glucose and releases it back into the bloodstream. It reduces the amount of glucose absorbed by the liver cells. It increases the conversion of amino acids and glycerol to glucose in the liver. As the blood glucose concentration returns to normal, this is detected by the alpha cells in the pancreas. So when it rises above a set level, the alpha cells reduce the secretion of glucagon, however. So if we look at this diagram, we can see that as blood glucose increases, that is detected by beta cells in the pancreas, which releases insulin, which causes a change in the liver, so it stores more glucose, therefore the blood glucose decreases. 
If the blood glucose decreases, this is detected by alpha cells of the pancreas, which release glucagon. So the liver breaks down its stores of glycogen into glucose, which is released back into the bloodstream, which increases the blood glucose levels. So insulin is the hormone that lowers the blood glucose level. So it's made in the beta cells of the pancreas and released into the blood when glucose levels go up. So at normal blood glucose concentration levels, potassium channels in the plasma membrane of beta cells are open and potassium ions can diffuse out of the cell. So the inside of the cell has a resting potential of minus 70 millivolts in respect to the outside. When blood glucose concentration rises, glucose enters the cell by a glucose transporter. The glucose is metabolized inside the mitochondria, resulting in a production of ATP. The ATP binds to the potassium channels, which cause them to close. They are known as ATP sensitive potassium channels. As potassium ions can no longer diffuse out of the cell, the potential difference reduces to around minus 30 millivolts and causes depolarization. So depolarization causes voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open, and calcium ions enter the cell and cause secretory vesicles to release insulin into the bloodstream that they contain by exocytosis. Thanks for watching.